We're doing this old school style. Hey, old school, I got you on my mouth, so whatever. Keep in mind, if you don't live in America, you may not care about this video. If you live in America and you don't care about this video, well then guess what? You don't matter. Because this is a National Football League right now. The most important thing, I shouldn't be chewing during this video. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm chewing. Anyway, let's start out with the first game. Cincinnati Bengals. They won like seven of the last eight games. They got beat by the Cowboys at home. The Browns killed them. So they're like seven and two the last nine games. Everyone's picking them momentum. Well, let me tell you something. People are counting the Texans out. They're saying they're playing like shit. They got exposed. Yeah, by the New England Patriots and the New uh, Green Bay Packers. Cincinnati Bengals got no offense. Now, that being said, people think, well, you know, the Bengals are on fire and, and the Texans are fucking playing terrible. That may be true. But, however, I like the Texans. Not only to win this game, but I like the Texans. I know Cincinnati's got a good defense. I ain't going to take nothing away from their defense. They're physical, fast, bunch of guys. However, I like the Texans at home. To win this game. Last year they beat the Bengals at home with Yates. TJ Yates at quarterback. Now Sean's healthy. I know he's not playing good right now. But let me tell you something. People are counting about this and that. And I believe the Texans are going to beat this team pretty bad. And this is a study. The last five times teams have met back to back years in the playoffs. Same matchup. The team that won the prior year won. That ain't even going into my decision here. I just like the Texans at home against the young Bengals. Next game. <laughs> Minnesota getting seven and a half. Cincinnati was getting four and a half. It don't matter. I'm predicting 31 14 Texas. Next game, Minnesota getting seven and a half at Green Bay. Now, we all know about the Green Bay, the Lambeau Mystique. Throw that out the goddamn window. It's cold out this and that. The problem with Minnesota is Christian Ponder ain't no good. He's not a viable NFL quarterback. Therefore, they're going to just stack the box on Adrian Peterson. I know he's rushed for, what, 205 yards a game, basically average 205 a game against Green Bay this year. That ain't going to happen this year. Green, that ain't going to happen this game. I don't care how cold it is. Aaron Rodgers, who's the best quarterback in the league at this juncture, will have about 400 yards passing against that team, and they will destroy Minnesota 41-7. But here's the game right now. Indianapolis, listen, they're getting seven points on the road against the Ravens, who the Ravens ain't played. They're playing like shit right now. The same effect as the... Houston, Texas, they playing like shit, too. Ray Lewis announces the time, and we got Chuck Strong. We got Andrew Luck, rookie quarterback, this net. But we have Bruce Arians, who is the fucking key factor. Ravens defense ain't shit no more. I already know for a fact Ray Lewis is retiring. Followed that by Ed Reed's going to retire. And I know for a fact that Ozzie Newsom is stepping down when they lose this game or the following week, whatever. I am picking the upset here. Believe me, I want the Colts to lose because I wanted to get Bruce Arians. This net. And they lose this net, we'll get Bruce Arians quickly. We're going to have to wait a week. I don't know what's going on with this that. I believe the Colts are going to go in there. With Andrew Luck, and I believe they're going to beat the Baltimore Ravens and send Ray Lewis out and put question marks about Joe Flacco, who can't win at home this year in the playoffs after he's been playing terrible. Listen, you beat a piss poor giant team last week and you think you're world beaters. I really believe right now that the Colts are going to go in there and they're going to beat the Ravens 31 24. And I know people are going to say, ah, you know, Flacco's got 24 points. Believe me, it's going to be Ray Rice, hey, Dino Dino, up the middle, Ray Rice, with the Vittle Little, with the Skittle. That's what it's going to be. So I, I like the Colts in this game. And I know Raven, listen, Ravens fans, it's still a fans. It's over. It's over. Your reign of dominance is over. We can see it in Pittsburgh already, and now we're seeing it in Baltimore. Cleveland's getting a new coach this now. We're not going to talk about that. But we know what's going to happen. In the final game, Washington at home with R.G. Turk getting three points against Seattle. Now, we know Richard Lewis right now. Richard Sherman, I'm sorry, is going out running his mouth this and that, saying they ain't got no one that can. I ain't worried about no one this and that. I am this. And guess what? You're right. You're right. Russell Wilson is by far a more catalytic, catalytic, catastrophic, great player than RG3 is right now. Russell Wilson will make plays. He's smarter with the ball. He's more mobile right now. And plus, he doesn't make mistakes. I know people say, I don't think you make mistakes. Trust me, Seattle's got a fucking potent defense right now. I know, I know they suck out of the road three and six or three and five, whatever on the road, eight going home. Whatever. I know that. I'm well aware of that. However, Seattle's defense right now in the playoffs, fucking Pete Carroll, right now, this game is going to be a matchup of rookie quarterbacks right now. Russell Wilson going against Robert Griffin III. And I will tell you this right now. Pete Carroll versus Mike Shanahan's fucking goddamn. Pete Carroll will win. Trust me. I believe, I believe the uh, Seahawks are going to win this game. 
I believe it's going to be in the neighborhood or something. I mean, the Seahawks put up major points. They put up major points last week. I believe the Seahawks put up 40 points on this piss poor Redskins fucking defense. I know people say they played good the last six, seven weeks, whatever. Don't matter. I believe the Seahawks put up 40 points right now, and they win 40 to 24 in a fucking blowout. I know people are going to say I'm RG3 hater this and that. Believe me. If I had my choice right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't think nothing of Russell Wilson. I didn't even know who this guy was. But to watch this season right now, Russell Wilson is the second best rookie quarterback out of this class. I got to go with Andrew Luck, turtle type NFL quarterback, Russell Wilson and RG3, and then uh, Tannehill and Weed and whatever. Weed gets in a good offense, he'll be something better than that. Those are my picks right now, NFL picks. I'm guaranteeing you right now 100% success on these picks this week. Guaranteed. I will guarantee you a 4 0 slate this week in the playoffs. In fact, I'll go one step farther. This is uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning here on uh, Friday. I'll go one step farther. I will guarantee you 100% picks this year in this NFL playoffs. I'll fucking guarantee it. There's no way I'll lose this week or any week. I will guarantee it. I, I, I really believe right now. i got to see what's happening. I believe that the future holds this. Green Bay, and it's going to be a tough call between Denver and, and New England. I, I, I know Peyton Manning fucking falters in the playoffs. I do know that I'm well aware of that. And I know the Patriots right now, they, 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 they played them earlier and they beat them, but they were on the way to coming back to Broncos right now. The thought of the home field advantage, I know the mastermind Belichick will be able to think of something. I know the Broncos won't be able to stop the Patriots. It'll be one of them games where has the ball last and win the game. But I also see the Patriots get off the 21-3 lead against the uh, Broncos at Indianapolis. I'm sorry, the Colts at Indianapolis a few years ago. Halftime lead. And I see the, uh, the Colts come back and win that game, and it made me sick to my stomach there. In fact, that went off. But I, I, I just, I, it's going to be tough to call right now. I'm still picking the Patriots to beat the Broncos. I, it's going to be tough, this and that. I know don't count your eggs before the fucking bull hatches or whatever. I realize that. I'm quelling down to that. But I'm picking the Patriots right now out of uh, loyalism because Bill Belichick is my uncle. I will tell you that right now. And plus, I've had some Brady, uh, lunch with Tom Brady and um, William McGinnis years ago in uh, Boston, this and that, because at the uh, old Sacred Heart Mary of uh, St. Church's of uh, Mormonism. I've had that before. And I'm just telling you right now, Green Bay... I picked them last year to go to the Super Bowl against the Patriots, and it didn't happen. Green Bay and New England, the battle of offenses. Who will win in the Super Bowl? That's my pick right now. That's my pick right now. Now, that could change, but we're going to see what happens. Those are the picks. <laughs>